<laughs> We're making plushies! Do not offend the judge! Well, he was about to offend me! Ow, I poked myself, I'm bleeding! Oh I'm no! Bleeding. I love it! <laughs> I love it! I hate it! Oh! Oh! Hey guys, we can't believe it, but we already sold out of the Try Guys plushies, but fear not, you can pre-order right now on TryGuys.com. And starting Monday, we are going to three videos a week this December, including your favorite show, Without a Recipe. Plus, this Monday, get ready, because we have a super secret special announcement. Ooh, what I'm could it be? Pregnant. No, it's not that, but it's very exciting. Okay, on to the video. With anticipation. Oh. To celebrate the release of our brand new Try Guys Triceratops plushie, oh, so cute, look at this, so cute. We're making our own plushies without instructions. Plushies, stuffies, or bedtime nappy friend. I feel like finally without instructions is in my corner. Every stuffed animal, I just wanted them, I loved them, and I would sit them up in my room and I would sing karaoke to them. I'm the boops and bops king of Los Angeles. I love tchotchkes. I love little toys. I was more of a Pogs man myself. Deep Pogs collection. Hi guys, I'm Lauren, or Lord DIY. I love plushies. I specifically am drawn to plushies that have no necks. They have to be soft. They have to be a little durable. I do have a dog, but I, the main thing is just no neck. Lauren has a very rare neck phobia. I love my plushie. It's a huge bear and it's in my bed. It's been there for like a year and a half now. Definitely big on the cuddle factor. I'm also going to check out the design of each plushie. A plushie will never let you down. It's gonna be there for you, good times and in bad. Can you cuddle it? That's the question the kids wanna know. Today we're gonna be judging on construction, creativity, and is it a plushie? Hi, my name's Mari. I have been making plushies since high school. I moved on to more to sewing and now I work in the film industry, but it's always nice to <laughs> revisit the classics. Today I'll be making this Triceratops plushie. We're in the Without Instructions warehouse. We're about to get into our stuffed animals. We're about to stuff some animals. We're about to stuff them good. But there's only gonna be two hours on the clock. All right, guys, on three. One, two, three, stuff me. Oh, that was the countdown. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 I mean, I'll take it. That's right, right. as good as any. Oh, okay, sure. All right. Um, okay. That's this is all of that. Is so like, I guess I that's all. Well, you can have some too. Today, I'm going to be making a stuffed animal plushie that is not just a toy, but it's a whole multimedia franchise. Introducing Chicken Noodle. So I thought of like little Japanese characters. Their eyes are all cute, accentuated puffy cheeks. And I was like, oh, what if he's eating soup? Do you need this? Well, I, it's sort of- I told them to get me the gay material. I didn't tell them to get me anything. I needed the gay stuff. Okay. I'm making the gayest animal in existence, or that doesn't exist, a unicorn. I love magic. I love gay stuff. I love unicorns. I'm banking on the fact that I'm good at visualizing things. At the very least, I understand the shape and form of what I'm trying to make, even if I have no idea what I'm doing. How big should I be making this? <laughs> like, how big is too big? Today, I am making a Keith monster plushie. Keith already has the most exaggerated features of any human on the planet, so I'm just gonna push it further. I'd say that this is a snuggle stuffed animal, much like Keith himself. You're gonna wanna lay in bed with this thing. The infamous octopus. I thought, I can figure this out. I can make a cool looking octopus. And as soon as I finished it, I realized it was not an octopus. It was rather something with eight dicks. Today, I will be attempting without instructions to improve upon my octopus and make a normal octopus. The octopus did not win me the sandcastle battle, but he's here to ride again. You are the only one of us with, you know, stuffed animal making experience. Sure. What, what's your plan here? I am going to make my eight tentacles, oh, and to save myself time, I'm not doing two panels and sewing them together. I'm just doing one panel and folding it over and sewing that way. A classic shape that people use is a thin football. If you put three or four thin footballs together, you can get an oval or a circle. For example, here the body has three right here and the head also has three, a bottom and then two sides that are the same. You said this is sharp? Nope. There are so many ways to approach a horse. 
except for behind. <laughs> That's dangerous. Guys, I am nervous uh, because I fear that the plushie I'm going to make today is going to be so wonderful that no one's going to want to buy our Triceratops plushie. They're just going to want to buy this thing. That's what you're nervous about? Yeah. <laughs> Eugene, that's gonna be a big horse. I mean, horses are big, dude. <laughs> that's a big Ain't wrong. There's no such thing as a tiny unicorn. Do you think this is too big? <laughs> yes. I would never buy that for my child. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I mean, you guys, it, are you hearing what I'm, I'm hearing? Just, it would like take up the entire room. You know, you can't put that in a toddler bed. A father's love knows no bounds. Well, apparently. Maybe if it were a rocking horse, Eugene, if it were a rocking horse that you could climb on, then I would buy it. And in fact, I'd pay a lot of money for it. To my future child, I would buy you one. You know what? I don't need this white material. There's enough white representation in media. Okay, don't, you know what? <laughs> it, it, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's just very large. No. I, growing up, and love stuffed animals. It's not a toy, it's, it's a companion. It's your partner in life. We do have a lot of stuffed animals for my two-year-old son, Wes, and we do like puppet shows all the time. The different stuffed animals have different voices. He'll like pick out different <gasps> cast of characters. I certainly like to play with stuffed animals and create stories where they would fight and then they would have lots of sex and then they'd fight again. So, you know, it teaches your kids all the important things you need to know as an adult. So for mine, I'm going to double my fabric over so that I have two equally sized misshapen shapes. Nice. It's a really good idea to fold your fabric in half, especially if you have pieces that you need multiples of or pieces cut on the fold. This saves you a lot of time and also makes things a lot more symmetrical. Uh, can I just see real quick? Yeah, pretty close. Yeah. So there's two ways you can uh, mark pattern pieces to be pinned. So you can either go through with a marker or a chalk and draw on the shape and cut it out. Alternatively, you can pin the pattern piece to the fabric and cut it out manually. This is a really good way if you're using a rotary tool. How do I lower the foot? This way? No. What the hell is it over there for? Oh my god. Now, normally when we do a without a whatever, I kind of just come in blind, show up on the day, shoot from the hip. It's worked wonderfully every time. The shark fin, I think, is going to haunt my dreams. It tastes eggy, which is not good to me. I really wanted to, to like it. Last night, I thought about this with my head, and I think I know how to do it. You know, you get two shapes, you sew it inside out, then you leave a little hole, you shove it with fluff, and then you got a party. So I'm gonna... So two of my little footballs together. Maybe I'm just making a chicken football. Pretty good name if chicken noodle is taken, which now that I think about it, it probably is. The Adventures of Chicken Football. Okay, so uh, you might be thinking, Keith, you idiot, you're not doing it inside out. No, that's quite on purpose. There's not enough time for that. And I'm thinking that this kind of might act as the suckers visually. And already, I'm thrilled because this does not look like a dick. This isn't working very well. <laughs> Are you sure this works better than scissors? Why is everyone telling me this works better than scissors? You guys f***ing me up? This doesn't work very well. liked it. Here, take this. Maybe you need the mat. I'm not falling for this now. again. Eugene is like, oh, I'm falling behind. Oh, it's so hard. I need help. And then he f***ing wins with some flawless unicorn bullshit. Uh-uh. Let him flounder. Not today. Not today, Satan. All right. A little bit like a kind of a square. Maybe I'll call it Chicken Cube. <laughs> chicken Cube, America's favorite noodle <laughs> football. <laughs> tentacles, we're sewing together some tentacles. Hey, hey! We gotta make them all look so nice, and I did it twice, and we're gonna have some tentacles tonight. Woo! All right, so last time I <laughs> had a little <laughs> side out issue. What? <laughs> I made my head and then I stepped on it. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go again not step on it. Oh, we do have to think about where we're stuffing this from. I wanted to stuff it through the butt, but I think I'm stuffing it through the mouth. That's it funny. should never look a horse in the mouth. But always stuff a horse in the butt. Always stuff a horse in the butt. <laughs> what is the saying? Never kiss a gift horse in the mouth? Never look a gift horse in the mouth. I wouldn't kiss him either. <laughs> hey, Keith. 
Yeah. Why did the octopus laugh? I don't know why. Because it had 10 tickles. Oh, that's a good joke. The joke that Keith made in a video we made once. I read it on the internet. <laughs> I wouldn't give me credit for that one. Have you guys thought about the order in which you design stuff on it versus when you stuff it and turn it inside out? I had the opportunity to plan out where all of uh, little details are gonna go, like the horn and the tail beforehand, so I can sew it into the seams. But usually when making a plushie on the spot, it's a good idea to just build the base first and then add the details as you go. Here's a question. Once I do my last seam, a little chicken football here, how do I get it inside out again? Because then I just have an inside in football chicken. So I'm flipping mine inside out and then stuffing it because I realized I started stuffing it while it was still inside out. Mm. I'm gonna stitch it almost all the way, then flip it inside out, then stuff it, and then I'll just hand stitch the rest? I don't know. If there's one thing I know about Keith is that he's got a good head. I got a big old head. That man right there, best head. Big brainium in the cranium. So this one's okay, but this was my test head. And Keith deserves okay, the best head. Yeah. I'm gonna give it to him. Wow. Oh my god. It's not even a gross video. People expect it when we wear slutty costumes. At this point, they've already seen the octopus. So it's not the most clean video. Hey! Alright, so I've left myself a good like fist hole here. It's just Maybe a giant making... beret. Maybe that's what you're making. If you don't walk your pattern pieces and make sure they match up, you're gonna get a lot of excess in places you don't want it. And you can always trim that away when you're uh, working fast, but you might end up making your plushie a little bit misshapen or not have the intended shapes that you planned in the beginning. It's looking a little more like a dragon, to be quite honest. Ooh, cool, that yeah, looks fun. No, I'm sticking with the unicorn. It's just a skinny unicorn, it's a skinny legend. Gay people, they, they didn't react to my gay references. I got it. You look so skinty, hunty. Keith, can I get your insight here? Of course, my boy. Just as an expert on your face, we that have so good. Blue, that... blue square, Keith. Uh huh. Or white boy, Keith. Gosh, white boy, Keith, sure is funny. I kind of think going for realism is funnier in this stuffed battle. Hey, man, you're my muse. So whatever you want, I'm gonna try both. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Sam, which one do you like more? Okay, I'll make them white. <laughs> Those glasses look good, bro. No, oh, he's cute. I think my ability to draw is, is becoming a hindrance because I'm making a realistic horse. So uh, I forget that this could be a stuffed animal for a child. Mm. Yeah, I'm also so skilled that it's becoming a hindrance. My, my incredible skills are just weighing me down as well. <laughs> no, so I had to make eight of these so I can do eight legs. <laughs> Octahorse. <laughs> Octopus and horses are alike in many ways, most notably the eight legs. Uh, so I'm gonna flip my head inside out now. I left a fairly big hole, because I don't exactly know how I'm gonna attach all the tentacles yet. I like that it's psychedelic too. It's like he's in the middle of camouflaging, but can't make up his mind. Exactly, that's what octopi are known for. Oh, I'm Chicken Doodle. Watch my Netflix show. That's the voice you're going with? Uh. Uh, yeah. Cool. No, I like it. I like it. It was. <laughs> Do you not like it? No, I, no, I love it. I just okay. wanted to know if that was the official. If you you're... try coming up with original IP. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna run out of time, but I, I got maybe a little too preoccupied with creating a, a body and sewing it. So, hopefully, I'll have enough time to actually create the rest of it. Ooh, this is what it will look like, but right now, it's a handful of tentacles and a head. And I don't know exactly the best way to get these tentacles onto the head. I'm having the same problem. But... Guys, I am hand stitching right now, and it is not going quickly. I don't think I know how to hand stitch. And that means I don't. <laughs> the thing that they don't tell you in competition shows is that it's timed, and if you have to go to the bathroom, that's a demerit on your time. Your so time. I'm just gonna... Suck the, suck the poop right suck, back up. <laughs> suck the poop. You ever been in a situation, yeah, where you're like, I have to poop, I can't, and you just tell your body no. But then once you get closer and closer to the bathroom, the body just starts to prematurely release. Yeah, it's like release. the body knows. Release? No, no body, no, we have to- Open it up! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm having fun. 
<laughs> you do. Who knew? I don't think I've enjoyed any of our without a whatevers. I'm really happy with how realistic I actually made these horse leg shapes, but I need to get it on here. I might just sew, sew these and then sew it. That's the fastest way, I think. At this point, you might be tempted to stuff the separate pieces and then sew it all together. It's a really good idea to machine sew it in, just because there's less of a chance of it falling apart. And there he is. I think we've decided to name him Butter. You're coming out of the wire, Rachel. We gotta get these tentacles on. See one, that's not a lot of minutes. All right, I gotta sew the back up. <laughs> I feel like I'm wasting time on the body. No, 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 my body is worth it. I'm not gonna be finished, it's not gonna happen. Oh, 10 minutes, 10 minutes! Ooh, this is stressful. Go through it, F***ing go through the fabric, you stupid needle! Come on, come on. I understand what thimbles are for now. Ow, uh, ow, 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 I poked myself, I'm bleeding. Oh I'm no! Bleeding. Oh. I can't get blood on my white chicken. We don't have time. Just go for it. Welcome to the judging portion of Without Instructions Plushy Edition. Today we're going to be judging on construction, creativity, and is it a plushie? Well, before you judge the plushies that we made, would love your thoughts on this bad boy. Oh, oh. triceratops. Color blocking, always on trend. This can definitely withstand a good cuddle. The beans and the toes are very nice. A toe bean. Oh, I see he's in racing mode right now. Aerodynamics flunk. Racing mode, sport racing mode. mode, sport mode. Ned, you and your mustache can go uh, grab your plushie. You got it. You can leave the mustache over there. <laughs> oh, no, it's attached to me. Judges, <gasps> I am very proud to present to you your new friend, Chicken Noodle. <gasps> he is a... Wow. Cuddly little chicken that loves eating noodles. This is the first of a multi-billion dollar franchise. <laughs> We've got an animated show planned, got a, a theme park ride. Stitching is a, a little, little crazy on the beak attachment, but I appreciate like, the kawaii vibes to this. Also, I love a play on words, like that's punny. <laughs> chicken noodle, like I'm here for that. I mean, as far as construction, he seems pretty good, I mean. <gasps> oh! When things are hand stitched and like handmade, you do have to be a little bit more gentle with it, but it shouldn't happen. The noodle incident, I'm not very happy about that. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know how you're gonna recover from that. You can buy different sets of noodles. Udon expansion pack, a ramen expansion pack. Is this a plushie or a Ponzi scheme? I was very upfront, it's a billion dollar business. <laughs> you know, Ned, now that you say that, that looks an awful lot like an angry bird. No. Oh. oh. No. Kind of looks like some. Looks like an angry bird. It looks a lot. Oh, he's, like a, he's laughing. He's not angry. He's laughing. The neck thing. You know, you got me at the neck part. I love the lack of neck. It's it's really great. Creativity wise, um, now that I have the image of the angry bird in my head. Oh, I sense a lawsuit coming. Nah. <laughs> not original idea. I see you stuffed at the back and then hand stitched to close. Yeah. Was that the move? That was the move. Yeah. Love that. That's a plushie. <laughs> That's a plushie. That's a plushie. A hug of approval. Yeah. I think that's a plushie. Here I come. Wow. Here's my huge ass stuffed animal. He's a unicorn and his name is Gay Horse. And he loves spreading equality and love and peace and partying with his friends. Gay Horse. Gay Horse. Gay Horse. Gay Horse. Gay horse. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh no. Oh. Gay horse. Gay horse. Gay horse. Gay horse. I feel as if he needs to be cradled or something. Like we're in rough shape right now. The fabric is soft. I like the fabric choice and I love everything that gay horse stands for. Like let's just get that out of the way. Thank you. Thank you. I think the construction of it needs work. Mm. I feel as if we're just missing a key component here of the horn. Did you think about adding a horn? His horn is anything he imagines it to be. Gay horse. Gay horse. Gay horse. What's going on here? Oh, you know. Oh. There's his horn. Gay horse's innards are exiting. 
So gay. <laughs> <laughs> it does have a neck. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> it does have lots of personality. I like that. But I also, I wish it had a horn. Okay, I was nervous this entire time if Gay Horse was gonna make it to me with his legs still attached. He's giving me shape, he's giving me body. Um, he's also giving me neck, which in my world is great. I think he just needs something a little bit more magical to stand out in the community because him, amongst all of my friends, he's probably gonna get like left behind. I actually love the tail. Like, can we can we talk about this pin? Yeah, you know, I I, I, uh, I I ran out of little time. Is this a plushie? No, this is an experience. <laughs> <laughs> I present to you the most beautiful, perfect, psychedelic octopus that definitely doesn't look like it has eight dicks. <laughs> I wanted to create a plushie that kids could enjoy and not be bothered with all those dicks. <laughs> He's just an octopus out to have a great day. What's his name? Oh, f***ing Octopus Jones. <laughs> you know, my whole neck thing, I don't even know where this falls in. Got no neck. <laughs> Got no neck. I guess it does check that box for me. Construction-wise, I like the idea of having the rough edge. I'm not a fan of having like all like the little raggedy cuts. He's been through some shit. He's been through some <laughs> shit. He's been through some shit. I think this could have gone very awry. And it looks good. This might be a personal thing, but I don't love plushies that have hard elements on them. What's going on over here? Oh my gosh, oh. Lauren, please! <laughs> Close Lauren, your eyes, please! Children. <laughs> this scene here, beautiful. This one, I can tell, looks like you had a fight with the bobbin. Yeah. I think if I was a young child, and I was walking through a toy store, and I saw this on a shelf, I would be a little traumatized, just a little bit. I don't know why, but there's something about this that just upsets me. I think it's the eyes for me. I love him. I could just see him like waiting for me like this <laughs> on my bed. I don't at all enjoy the eyes. The eyes are giving me very much like, yeah, trippy eyes. <laughs> he's completely on acid. <laughs> he's, he's making me trip out and I'm not even there right now. Stitching, I mean, I think you did a good job. He Aesthetically, like I think he's cool. Like yeah. I think he would definitely vibe in everyone's house, but like oh, those eyes. Uh, those eyes. He's definitely wondering where you guys keep your weed. <laughs> yeah. uh, is it a plushie? Yes, this is a plushie. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud of you. Yeah. Thank you so much. That You're welcome. Judges, Ugly Dolls, one of the biggest franchises in the world. Beautiful Keith, one of the most beautiful men in the world. Put them together, what do you get? Ugly Keith. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I wanted to make something that just makes you laugh. He just has this kind of little pathetic body, so he would sit like this on your shelf or on your bed. He's just a little buddy. I hate it. <laughs> no net. Thank you, Lauren. I hate it. Creativity-wise, like through the roof. This is key. It's me. This is See? this is Keith. <laughs> I hate that as well. <laughs> and I don't know why you could do that. This fabric makes me feel kind of like it's skin, and I hate that. <laughs> it's not soft, and that really goes against you for the like, is it a plushie question for me. Try and set him up. He's supposed to be. <laughs> Come on! Come on! <laughs> I love it. I don't think it's a plushie. I think it's a doll. I think it's a big-headed, ugly Keith doll. The fucking difference. It really. It takes me back to 2016, Keith. If I was at a toy store, I'd walk past Chicken Noodle, I'd walk past Gay Horse, I'd walk past Octopus Jones, but I would walk out of it with Ugly Keith. If I get to one spot, you can take that home. So just wow. consider it. That's technically that, bribery. That's, that's a bribe. Bribery. That's a bribe, that, yeah. Jamie. Be stronger than that. It wasn't a bribe. It was just a promise. Uh, with contingencies. <laughs> <laughs> the hot glue is a lose for me. It's so cute though. Even though it's ugly Keith, I like the fact that when he sits down, his whole body's just like so limp and so comfy and just like he's he's here to stay. Finally a Keith that can sit on your lap. On <laughs> Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. That was very full circle. Huge. I love that. Would I consider this a plushie? I don't think so. I do think it is more like a doll. That is a plushie. He goes in the paper doll section for me. Um, the difference. There's, there's no difference. There's so many differences. I definitely am not in love with the fact that I had to use hot glue. Time was running out and I wanted to make sure that I got the main features on there for you.
this time that you talk about. Where was it spent the most <laughs> on you? So I, <laughs> <laughs> I made three different versions of his head. Okay. And then I actually, I made a like kind of a more chunky body and I sewed it, but when I tried to turn it inside out, the arms got stuck, it just didn't work. In my ideal version of this, he's actually- A plushie. F you. <laughs> Plushies are a construct. I agree. Okay. Yeah. Contestants, the judges would love to hear um, a final plea as to why your plushie should win. Judges, yes, he's got a fun name. Yes, he has got cute features and noodles hanging out of his mouth. But the one thing I'd like you to remember is I just invite you to give him a hug and just tell me how you feel. Judges, gay horse. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> I wanted to make something that made me smile. Something that every time you see in your room, you go, F that's an ugly Keith. And I love that little guy. What is a plushie? Is it the feeling in your hand or the feeling in your heart? Judges, I would like to say that I had the most executed difficult design of the day. While you didn't love its eyes, some people today basically built a pillow with a face on it. Whoa. Tentacles are tougher than rectangles. Whoa. I'll leave it there. Maybe you should have spent more time making a face and less time making eight dicks. Hey, dude. Whoa. Great work making a square. Oh. Gay horse. <laughs> <laughs> Say, gay horse is looking pretty good right now. <laughs> Let's start with construction and go down the line here. Yeah. As much as I love Gay Horse, he just doesn't stand a chance in this specific category. Chicken noodle, that was a little like hurt by the noodle falling out of his mouth. That was tough. Octopus Jones. Construction wise, with the time that they were given, I think he's the best. I agree. With the only problems that I really have with him being his eyes. Ugly Keith, that chin, that is not only construction, but it's creativity in the construction. Roman, I, I feel as if we share the same feelings over hot glue. I'm so torn. At first he was out of it for me. Zach's last statement sort of like has me on the fence right now. What is a plushie? Is it the feeling in your hand or the feeling in your heart, heart, heart? I don't know if it's the fact that he's like looking at me right now. He's having a great time. He's definitely having a great time. I feel like you guys are being hypnotized by I, I honestly Under a spell. agree. When it comes to creativity, again, I'm torn. <laughs> I love the chicken noodle story. I love the punniness of chicken noodle. I think that's so creative. I do love like gay horse. I like that he has a purpose and a mission and he's queer like me so I identify with him but like yeah I mean you're torn gay horse is torn ugly Keith stands out the creativity of creating ugly Keith is there for sure I think as much and as well constructed as octopus Jones is I think creativity for an octopus is very mediocre I'd have to agree. Chicken Noodle and Octopus Jones. Plushies. 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 Plushies, no contest. Gay Horse gives me pregnancy pillow vibes a little bit. I think at the end of the day, if we had to categorize him, he is a plushie. Yeah. I just don't think there's any wiggle room on this decision for me. Ugly Keith is not a plushie for me. He's a is doll. It, is it the material for you? Or? It's, it's the skin-like material. It's the hard eyes. It's the hard hair. It's the paper falling apart body. All the rest qualify in my book as a plushie, except Ugly Keith. But you didn't even do the hug test. I hate That's it. It's squishy. Jamie, I hate it. I know, you're, but no. You're lying to me when you tell I'm me that this is, this is cuddly. I don't even know who I want to win. I think uh, we want to not be aligned on first, but I think we're aligned on first. I think so too. We've made some decisions. And although the love that has gone into your plushies is equal, the rankings, unfortunately, are not. Roman, you start us off with fourth place. Yes. So in fourth place, sadly, Gay Horse. It was unanimous. There was no real discussion on it. We <laughs> pretty much all knew that he was in fourth. We love him. We love his purpose. We love his mission. Shh. Say no more. <laughs> Gay Horse. 
Gay horse. Gay horse. Gay horse. Gay horse. Gay horse. Gay horse. Gay horse. Gay horse. I humbly accept your judgment. Gay horse is ready to ride off into the sunset fabulously. No, he does. He's, his legs are falling off. <laughs> <laughs> and in third place, contestants, we have Octopus Jones. <laughs> It's Jamie's fault. It was all Jamie's fault. No, no, do not put this on me. No. Are you fucking nuts? Are you serious? Right Keith, now? we loved the construction. The construction. Did you? We did. Creativity. We just feel like it wasn't there. The, it just. It... You said it disturbed you. How could something basic be disturbing? <laughs> Being beaten by a two-dimensional doll in a square? You should lose your show. You need to go back to school, and you should go to bed with that bear. I am. I don't even want to stay for the rest of the judging. I don't give a shit anymore. Are you? Kidding me right now? Look at this thing. This is this could be in a toy store. Okay? That can't. That can't. That maybe can. <laughs> but it would be in the pillow section. First place. The moment we've all been waiting for. We have ugly Keith. And we have chicken noodle. The winner is. Chicken noodle. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, judges. Chicken Noodle really just checked all the boxes. I think um, Chicken Noodle came with a great story, a great name. I think had the noodles not been there, the order may have been different. You know, the outcome could have changed. He's a plushie. It's a plushie. Thank you. Well, Ned may be the winner today, but the real winner, everyone who gets to take home a little Triceratops plushie. Available now at TryGuys.com. And maybe, hey, maybe they can be buddies. Ooh, we can ride them. Woo, wow. yeah. yeah. It does yeah. look pretty good there. Woo. <laughs> Gay horse! Gay horse! Gay horse. Gay horse, everyone. Gay horse.